Okay, so this is uh, specifically for Salam on a question he asked. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire question because it's quite long and the pictures I've got are fairly rubbish. The photograph straight from my computer screen because it's late and I'd quite like to go to bed. Uh, but I couldn't go to bed before giving you a few clues on how to solve this. Um, so basically, it's a bird sculpture. Uh, and it says the center of mass of that bird uh, normally is at M. Um, so it's this point here. And so we pivot it here, and like whoever's building it basically says, okay, he has to put a mass here to balance this mass so that it stays horizontal. Um, so here's your clue for this one, calculating the mass of the counterweight. Your clockwise moment, I just do your anti-clockwise moment, your anti-clockwise moment is this one. Okay? And your clockwise moment is this one. So you've got some distances, you know the mass, that's uh, 1.5, that's this mass. Um, and so hopefully you should be able to set the two moments equal to each other and you should, you should be able to get the answer. Um, let me get rid of these, uh, these drawings here then and let's take a look. Here. The next bit is about um, uh, part B, I haven't actually got the, the picture but I'll give you a clue. It's the fact that there's no net force Okay, there's no net force. So as well as there being no net moment for equilibrium, we also have to have no net force. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, let's take a look at this one. This was nice. This had me puzzled for a few minutes. I'd not actually seen this question before. I think it's from a, a different variant of the paper than the one I've got. Um, basically, the, he kind of rotates it, and you have to figure out whether it like stays in that position, rotates clockwise, or rotates anti-clockwise. Now, I haven't seen the mark scheme, but just thinking about it, let me give you this bit of um, information. Let me choose a, a nice color green to do this in. Um, you know this mass. You should have calculated this mass. This is a moments question, so what else are you going to need to know? Distance. You've got that distance. You've got that distance. Hopefully you can see that green arrow. Which one of those distances is bigger? How will that affect the clockwise moment and the anti-clockwise moment? Then you should be able to determine which way it will move. Hopefully that helps. Uh, I look forward to speaking to you about the problem on uh, Wednesday, Salam, and anybody else who uh, is interested and has found this to be an interesting question.